Hi folks, Max from HTC1Root.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to root your HTC1 on Mac OS X. Mac, uh, any Mac should work. I'm using Hackintosh here, but same thing. Um, so let me go ahead and show it to you. Before we begin, go ahead and make a backup of everything in your internal storage. Connect it to your uh, computer as a disk drive. You can use uh, Android File Transfer. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it, download the program. That will allow you to connect your ACC1 as a disk drive and c copy everything in your internal storage to somewhere on your hard disk and you can copy it later back. Um, the reason is when you unlock the bootloader on the ACC1, you're going to lose everything in your phone. But we are going to make a backup of your apps. These are currently the apps I have right now. Um, to do this, let's start. Uh, go ahead and go to settings. And go to developer options and make sure it's on and also USB debugging checked on and connect it to your Mac uh, using a micro USB cable and let's go to our Mac all right next you will need to download acc one root.zip I'll have a link on my site go check it out go download it and you'll get a folder uh, most Macs will automatically unzip it into a folder called acc one root um, with all the files you need in your uh, download directory and next we're going to go ahead and make a backup. So let's go ahead and go to applications down here, go to utilities and hit terminal. All right. And this should give you a nice little terminal there. All right, here we're going to go ahead and type CD downloads like that. And then we're going to type CD space HTC one root like that. This will get you into the ACC one directory. Um, we're going to make next type chmod space 755 space star and hit enter. This will basically change all the permissions in that folder to make it executable. Uh, next we're going to go ahead and type dot slash adb dash mac space backup space minus apk space minus all space minus f space backup dot ab. All right, this will back up all of your apps. Um, stuff like that. All right, and go ahead and hit enter. And uh, I should say now unlock your device and do whatnot. So go ahead and unlock it, and go ahead and hit back up my data. And this will back up all of your you know apps with its data. Uh, so if you have level twenty on you know uh, your favorite games, it's going to save all that. Uh, it might not save some of your Gmail, some of anything that requires login and stuff. You might have to re-log in, but anything that keeps data, it'll save it for you. So you don't have to reinstall it or lose all your great levels on, you know, um, GTA or whatever. Um, so this will back it up. And I'll be back after this is done. This should take about five to ten minutes or longer, depending on how much apps, how many apps you have. All right. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, unlock our bootloader. So let's go back to our phone real quick. All right, go ahead and open up your phone real quick here and go back to uh, settings. There we go. Go to settings and go to power and make sure fast boot is checked off. If you don't uncheck this, you'll not be able to get into the bootloader. Um, then go ahead and power off your phone. Power off. All right, and then go ahead and hit, uh, hold down the volume down, hold it down. All right, uh, wait till it's off. Is it off yet? There we go. Hold it down. Oh, I got it on anyways. Um, but what you want to do, power off and hold down the volume down and and then hold down the power button and you'll be able to get into fast boot. Let me show you that again uh, for those of you. Let me power it down. So once power down, go ahead and hold down the volume down hold it down and then hit the power button. It's probably because I had my USB cable in. So you might want to take the USB cable out if you don't do it exactly right. Um, hold down both buttons. And now you should be in uh, bootloader mode. Go ahead and uh, choose fast boot here. Just hit power button. That will get you into fast boot. Go ahead and plug your micro USB cable back in there. Just say fast boot USB. Let's go back to our computer. All right, next go ahead and type dot slash fastboot dash Mac space OEM space get underscore identifier underscore token exactly like that. 
and hit enter. And this will give you the uh, identifier token. Go ahead and select from uh, the arrow there, the, sec the arrow where it shows right there, and to the bottom arrow there. Now it's going to copy all of this info stuff. We'll, we'll get rid of it later. Um, do right click copy. All right. And go ahead and open up a browser on your Safari uh, or your favorite browser. And go ahead and go to accdev.com. All right. And uh, go ahead uh, and register. If you don't have an account, register. If you do have an account, uh, go ahead and sign in uh, right here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, and that'll get me lock in success. And next, um, go ahead and choose lock, unlock bootloader here, and hit get start. And we're just gonna buzz through this. Uh, for select device, go ahead and go to all the way to the bottom. You don't have to select ACC1. Go select all other supported models, uh, and then hit begin unlock bootloader. Do you still wish to continue? Say yes and make sure these check boxes are on and proceed to unlock instructions all right and you'll be here um we've actually done everything here go all the way down to proceed to step five hit that and then go all the way down to proceed to step eight all those instructions are useless because they're all using windows anyways and go all the way bo bottom here and do right click paste you know all these info ones? Get rid of all the info. That's not supposed to be there. So I'm just gonna go delete all the infos. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They should all line up uh, like the top ones. There we go, we're almost done. And it should look like that. And go ahead and hit submit. And that will send you a token. Uh, whoops. Then hit back and try it again. I might have actually deleted some, some other ones. So let me go ahead and redo this. All right. Um, let me do that. I think I was, I might have deleted an extra letter or something. Or you can use a text editor. That's probably a better idea. Um, but I'm just trying to go as fast as I can here. And because I've been rooting my phone, like, this is my fourth time already. Uh, HCCDev.com just makes you really tired at the end of the day. All right, let me try that again. Submit. Come on, work. Yes, I got it right. Somehow I deleted probably an extra letter or something. So when that's done, go ahead and check your email. All right, I'm in my email and I've got unlockcode.bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And that will download it actually down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on downloads. Um, let me, let me, let me see. No, let me see, open downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and open the downloads folder. And I'm going to go ahead and find the unlock underscore code dot bin there. And I'm going to copy this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into my ACC1 root directory here. So I'm going to do right click, paste item. Oops. Paste item. And I should have unlock code dot bin. Uh, we're almost done. Let's go back to your command prompt or the terminal. Uh, where's my terminal? There we go. And we're going to go ahead and type dot slash fast, fast boot, uh, dash Mac. And let me move this so you can see better. All right. And type space, flash space, uh, unlock token space, capital U, then uh, unlock underscore code dot bin. Exactly like that. And this will unlock your phone. And you'll, have, you'll see the option here. Let me go ahead and hit enter. And you'll see the option here. Um, choose yes using the volume keys up and hit the power button. And this will reboot uh, your phone and unlock your bootloader. Erase everything on your internal storage, uh, you know, all your settings, apps, zap, gone. But we did make a backup. Uh, hopefully, you did make a backup of everything in your internal storage. 
so you can copy it back into your phone after we're done with this and also hopefully um, yeah we, we did back up your apps so we should get them restored with all of your uh, app data so let me be back um, when your phone reboots you're gonna have to re-sign in you're, it's gonna be just like the day one you got your phone so go ahead and sign in um, go through all the setup and and we'll go from there all right I've got it signed in it's completely blank um, go ahead and connect it to your computer and if you have Android file transfer installed on your Mac you should be able to connect it and you'll see the disk drive go ahead and simply drag the uh, CWM blah blah dot zip drag this into your phone there and you should now have CWM blah blah dot zip now let's go back to our phone real quick Next, go ahead and let's go back to settings and make sure Fastboot is turned off uh, because that will interfere uh, with our rebooting, rebooting into Bootloader. Um, so go back to power here and make sure Fastboot is unchecked there. We're going to go ahead and turn our phone off. Oops. Turn this off. This button sometimes gets in the way. Um, all right, and let it turn off. And go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power. And you can unplug your micro USB when you're doing this. There's an easier way to do this, but I'm just showing you the manual way. So if something goes wrong, you know how to manually get into your phone. Um, there we go. We're on bootloader here. Now it should say unlocked. All right, and go ahead and choose fast boot, hit the power button, and connect micro USB cable to your computer again. Let me go ahead and find my cable here. Um, it should say fast boot USB. Let's go back to the computer. Go back to the command prompt and type dot slash fast boot dash Mac space flash space recovery space, and you're gonna either choose uh, one or one of these open recovery blah blah m7.img that's for AT&T T-Mobile if you have international if you have a model number m7 that's pretty much for everyone except for Sprint if you have Sprint then use the second one open recovery tour blah blah wls.img so we're gonna enter that file name um, I'm gonna go ahead and type open and hit tab this will usually fill out uh, most of it and uh, if you wanna go with uh, if you wanna go with Sprint, you'll type WLS.IMG, but I have a regular M7, so I'm going to just type .IMG. And go ahead and press Enter, and this will flash the twerp recovery. Now we're going to do one more step and do dot slash fastboot dash max space erase cache. Uh, after you install recovery, flash something, you always want to do this, otherwise, you might not be able to boot into twerp recovery. So go ahead and do that. This will just erase temporary files. We're pretty much done. Let's go back to our phone. All right, let's go ahead and uh, choose bootloader, bootloader there and hit the power menu. Uh, and next, we're gonna go ahead and choose recovery and hit the power button. All right, it should say enter recovery there. Um, it should get you into twerp, team win twerp recovery. Don't forget to donate to these guys. Very awesome guys. Um, go ahead and hit install and go ahead and find the CWM super SU blah blah dot zip file choose it and go ahead and swipe to confirm flash and this will give you root pretty much that's what we did and go ahead and reboot the system now and you should have a fully rooted HCC one uh, but now since you've wiped everything go ahead and connect it back to your computer copy everything um, that you copied over earlier to your hard disk back into your internal storage um, so you'll have your photos, uh, videos, you know, of your grandma, daughter, whatever, dogs. And then we're going to do a final restore of all the apps we backed up so you get your apps back. Um, yeah, so I'll be back. Oh, there we go. So next, go ahead and go to settings. And also under developer options, make sure developer options is checked on. USB debugging is checked on. And go ahead and connect it back to your computer. And let's go back to our computer and do the final process of restoring our apps. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and type dot slash adb dash max space uh, restore space backup dot ab. When you hit that, you'll have the option to uh, restore. So go hit that. It should say now unlock your device, confirm the restore operation, hit restore my data, and this will restore. You'll see all the apps being restored in real time. Um, go ahead and leave it for about five minutes uh, until this. Uh, is done so I'll be back when it's done it should take about five to ten minutes all right it should be done now let's go back to our phone hi folks so it is done and I've got all my apps back and let me go ahead and check my angry birds level three that I was on make sure I've saved my data here and how do I get back here um, there we go so I've got my level three there and for most apps, you should have your data back. Um, stuff like Twitter and Gmail, you might have to re-sign in. Uh, but you should have all your apps back with your uh, data. And if for some reason, if the restore fails, you can run it again. Sometimes the second time is the charm. Anyway, that's how you root your ACC1, unlock the bootloader, and root your ACC1. And also back up and restore all of your apps. Uh, for, uh, using a Mac OS X. Sorry, it's been a long day. This is my fourth time rooting this device today. And it took me a long time every time I did it. Um, anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you have an HTC One, don't forget to sign up for my email list at httc1root.com. We'll update you once a week with Ron Louis tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And the next time your friends ask you uh, how to root your HTC One, please point them to this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.